Before we get underway today, both sides will join together in a mark of condolence for His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who died yesterday, age 99. So I heard someone say, John, that Ronan Hill is nearly the only player that would go for a goal like that on the outside of the foot from that yes. angle. Uh, I'll tell you something, Joel, he scores some spectacular goals, but he also needs to put some of them away as well. You know, in the six-yard line inside the 18, he needs to just score from there. I'm surprised, actually. I thought David McDade might have been. Here's an early ball over the top from Lee Lynch. Ronan Hill is there. He gets a shot away. And another. It's going to roll over the front of goal. Dirty defending at the back for the Blues. Cosgrove still in possession. Lauren maybe get a second bite of the cherry here. That's good football now. Yep, that's a nice touch from Andy Mitchell, spinning the ball out left to Gene Jarvis. Jarvis is going to cut inside. Strong challenge there, no whistle. Lauren in possession, here's Marty Donnelly on the edge of the box. Can Lee Lynch get a shot away? He does. And that's wide past Johns. For a Lauren throw to be taken short by Dean Jarvis. 1-2 from Lee Lynch. Lauren managed to work their way out of that. Here's Sule. Good football from Lauren. John Heron in the centre circle, he's going to look out right, finds Donnelly. Cosgrove's there in support if Donnelly can get around these three blue jerseys. He's going to chip one towards the box, Ronan Hill's there, yeah. shot, goal! I can tell you they deserved that, Joel, absolutely deserved that. Beautiful set-up play from Marty Donnelly to find his way through no less than three Linfield shirts. And he that could easily have broken the Linfield there. That is a foul there. That Ronan Hill gets away with one there. He's got away with Here comes Lee Lynch on the right-hand side of the box. He's going to take a shot. Fascinating interview with Fiat Soleil uh, before the match and at halftime today. Hopefully you saw that. Fantastic sort of uh, introspective Fiat Soleil talking about... <laughs> oh, a fantastic effort from Marty Donnelly. Everybody was just sleeping. Just absolutely caught me off guard there. He really did. I think Lauren's going to get camped in here now, so our Linfield are going for it. They've made two substitutions, two front runners. Tempo's up again from the visitors. Can Lauren counter via Davy McDade? Makes his way left, finds Luke Wade Slater. Holds the ball up. He's got to take him on, I think there's nobody else there. Finds a way past Hawhey there. Can Davy McDade get on the box? Oh, oh, get on the ball in the box. Hits a shot up and over Lauren, and I've got to stop giving away silly free kicks. Johns comes all the way up to the halfway line to send this one in deep. Ball's loose in the box. Here's a shot and a header, and the Blues have equalised. Yeah, there's an opportunity. I thought to get it away there, so there was, and it just sort of lines the ball. So they're still on the ball. Mitchell again. Played right to Cosgrove. Nice one, two. Great ball. Give it go from Donnelly. Cosgrove's got it. Cuts it back into the edge of the box. Fiatsule shot! What a save by Chris Johns! Beats the are. And they're two points behind Lauren. You know, and Balamina are in 46 points. So, I mean, overall, if, if, if they maintain a, a draw here, it's, it's not that bad. Just hearing in my ear that Cliftonville are now 2 2. Oh, are they? And referee Tim Marshall is going to blow this one up. It's uh, it's honour shared today at Inver Park. Uh, a spectacular game of football. John McKinstry, it has to be said. Both sides really left it all out on the pitch.